Okay, my name is Judith Pete. I am a Kenyan and I work at uh, Tangaza University College as a lecturer and research coordinator. But I'm undertaking my study PhD research at the Open University in the Netherlands. Now, my research is about differentiation uh, in the use and sharing of open educational resources among students and lecturers in the Kenyan universities. Now, this research was instigated by my own personal passion with regards to uh, changing the, the, the structure, or rather changing the format in which institutionalized uh, education in Kenya has cut off students from marginalized communities and those who ail from the hard to reach populations. Therefore, when I uh, learned about uh, uh, educational technologies, then I learned that through open educational resources, then we can be able to create and motivate lecturers to uh, create, share, and then build this uh, these resources that even those who do not go to the universities can still download and access quality resources that they can use to improve their learning and uh, teaching methodologies. Well, this research was undertaken uh, among four universities in Kenya, uh, two public universities and two private universities, and the students whom we, we interviewed were 798 in total and 43 lecturers. The outcome of this, resource, uh, of this research is uh, pinpointing on issues and the challenges that the Kenya government has with regards to digital literacy, especially with the rural-based institutions. We realize that students and lecturers from the, from the rural-based universities do not have basic literacy or basic digital literacy so that they'll be able to use these resources to enhance their teaching and learning methodologies. And therefore, this also puts a lot of questions with regards to the national uh, policy on ICT, which was launched way back in 2006. If it was launched then, then up to date, more than a decade later, still lecturers and students do not have the basic requirements to use digital materials. That is a big question. Two, we notice that uh, licensing, be it the CC uh, or otherwise, we notice that Kenyans still do not understand what this license is all about. Because when we did ask them whether they have used any to back up what they share, none really showed. A larger population of 80 plus percent showed that they have never used or they did not know that what they used, which were freely from the internet, had any form of open licensing. Now, with regards to reuse of materials, most lecturers in Kenya reuse materials, but they do not create. In other words, the aspect of sharing is not present in Kenya. We only uh, use what is available, which we are very happy to pick, reuse, and localize or adapt to suit our local situations, but we are not contributors to these particular resources.